What's going on you guys? This is a Max KDI here, another HP Pro 3500. This is the micro tower. This video is a disassembled 3D. I'll show you how to do that. So first off, you're gonna remove the side cover panel. There's a thumb screw right here. You get that unscrew, then you're gonna slide it to the left like this to remove the side cover panel. And what you guys need is a Torx, a Torx T15 screwdriver. If you don't have a Torx T15 screwdriver, you can use, use a flathead, perfectly fine. So first I'm going to be starting off, you guys, uh, will be the front cover basil here when we're removing. There's a little clips right here, you take your finger like this, and the clips will come right out. You press on it like this, your finger gently, up, and it comes out the front cover basil. See the little clips right here. So remove the front cover basil, now we're going to remove the optical drive, there will be two screws here. And you're gonna slide the optical drive like this a little bit on the side and you're gonna disconnect the SATA and power cable. And what you have to do is you have to use a flathead screwdriver. It's got a little clip on the SATA power right here. You gotta press it down. Right here, it's got a little clip right here too. Not on the top right here, actually. It's in the top right here. And it comes right out like this. So it does have a secure clip on the top right there. You guys can see you have to press on it. Well, you have to probably press it down with a screwdriver or with your finger to, to release it. Disconnect the SATA cable. And the SATA cable has a secure clip right here, lock two on it. So what you're gonna do is you take a screwdriver and you press it up like this with the screwdriver or if you use your finger right here it does have a secure clip right here secure right there so you get that removed and so the optical drive slides right out like this really easy now what we're going to do is uh, disconnect the hard drive and you're going to unscrew the four screws right here I'm going to move it down you guys can see better Four screws for the hard drive. Now you're gonna disconnect the SATA and power cable, and it does have a secure clip on the bottom. So what you have to do is you take your finger, and in the bottom you're gonna disconnect right here too. Can you see? It does have a secure clip right here too. Same with the the SATA doesn't have, but the power does have. So and it, the hard drive comes out like this on the side. Okay, now what we're gonna do is. Uh, we're gonna remove the power supply. To do that, I'm gonna slide it to the other side like this, so you guys can see. Now you're gonna use this uh, Torx T15 screwdriver. Remove the four screws here in the back. And got the four screws here from the power supply. And I'm gonna switch it to the okay. Now we're gonna do I'm not gonna switch, I'm gonna just go ahead and uh remove the bracket here, the PCI bracket clip right here. Right there, and you move the PCI brackets. And I'm gonna do go ahead and uh do, remove the it's got one, two, total three screws here in the back for the rear system fan right here. And I'm going to be using the Phillips screwdriver. To remove the three screws here from the rear system fan. So we got the three screws removed from the rear system fan. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you can disconnect uh, from the motherboard 
this is a 92 millimeter fan it looks like yeah it's a three wire three pin okay let me go ahead and slide it to the other side and I'm gonna remove the power supply so to do that guys is we need to uh, remove the 24 pin it's got a clip right here too in the side so you're gonna take a screw right here your finger like really gently you press on the clip right here to release it secure clip to pull it the 24 pin can you see right there the little clip your finger you have to press it like this same with the 4 pin right there you have to press uh, like this to release the clip right there you do that and uh, to make sure that's all we got to disconnect so what we have to do is move the power supply to do that is I'm going to lift this up like this can you guys see right here there's going to be a little secure clip the camera can't see okay so I'm going to try to move these wires okay here's a clip right here you're going to take a screwdriver and you're going to press it down and power supply comes right out it's a secure clip for the power supply and uh, so we got that removed now I'm going to lay it down and remove the power supply now what we're going to do guys is uh, we're going to remove the memory here DDR3 now we're going to disconnect uh, right here the wires just connect to the motherboard it's uh, audio and that looks like a, for the front panel right here connect to the motherboard and let's connect the SATA cables here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the heatsink heatsink fan for a processor and you're gonna be using Torx T15 screwdriver It's got two screws on the bottom, two in the top. Remove the heat sink, fan, the processor, and you can disconnect the four pin four wire for the fan. Okay, so we got that removed. Now, we guys gonna do we'll remove the motherboard. To do that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, there will be let's see one two three four five six okay one okay one two three four looks like total six screws there that's uh we have to remove from the motherboard let's hold it on the motherboard and you can use a torx t15 screwdriver or uh you can use a flathead a perfectly fine flathead screwdriver Okay, they'll, let's see, there are two more screws on the top. I have to remove. So it looks like it's total six screws here. It's holding the motherboard. And what you do is Make sure everything is disconnected, the motherboard, the SATA cables, and I see the front panel switch. That's we have to get that disconnected too right here. This is front panel, front panel power switch, reset switch, hard drive LED, and power LED right there. It's in the corner, bottom right corner. So get that disconnected from the header. And we're going to go ahead and move the motherboard out, remove the motherboard, and just stick your finger like this and it slides right out like that. And it comes right out really easy, like just like that. And we're going to disconnect the processor. So a little clip right here. Take your finger like this. And just what you're going to do is, uh, before removing the, pro the, yeah, the processor, you need, a, you need a paper towel to clean it off because you don't want to get your fingers dirty. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take the paper towel and remove the thermal compound before we're going to remove the processor. Just wipe it down. Okay, good. Now we can go ahead and remove the processor. Processor removed. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the CMOS battery right there. And just use a flathead screwdriver. And it's got a little clip right here. You guys can see, you just press on the clip and the battery comes right out. CMOS battery. 
So the motherboard is removed. Now we're gonna go on the back side, remove the back the, the iron shoe, the back plate right there. You see right there? Okay, so what you're gonna do is you take a screwdriver like this and you hit it uh, and it comes right out. Back plate iron shield. And be really, really careful. This has got the sharp edges right here. You can get cut really easy. That's why I recommend wearing uh, latex gloves because it got really sharp. It's really sharp. So we got the back plate iron shield removed. And uh, let's see what I'm going to do is do the last part. It would be the front right here. Looks like it's a front panel here. And to remove that is what you need to do is it's got a let's hold by the clip it looks like and hold it by the clip and it slides let's see yep it slides right out so there's a little you press on the clip and it slides it out like that and just remove it and it comes right out just like that and let's see, should I go ahead and move this? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave this on here. Looks like it's for the front panel switch here. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it on here. Okay, man, guys, so this will be it. Hey, guys, this is, uh, this is what this assembly tear down for the HP Pro 3500 micro tower. Thanks for watching. Bye.